In this problem, we're being asked to find an angle of rotation. We have a dial here, and we're told that each of these letters represents um, an eight equally spaced points on the dial. So um, basically, the circle is divided into eight parts, and the letters uh, mark out the parts. And we're going to turn the dial counterclockwise from F until F is at the top. So we're turning it that much. Just from looking at this, it looks like I'm turning more than half the circle. So I know my answer is going to be uh, greater than 180 degrees. But how do I figure out exactly how many degrees I have to turn the circle? Well, the first thing to do is to figure out how much one of these letter spaces is. Uh, we're told that the circle is divided into eight equal parts. So we can just take the total circle, which is always 360 degrees, and divide it by eight. So that's 45. What that means, if we turn just a little bit so that F is where E is, that would be 45 degrees. And if we did a little bit more uh, to, to turn F to where D is, that'd be another 45, another 45, another 45, and another 45. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five chunks of 45 degrees. So I just multiply 45 times 5 and I get 225 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with finding an angle of rotation.